Welcome back guys, Star Wars Jedi Survivor just received a new update in the form of patch 9. It helps in improving the game's performance, removes Denuvo from the game, which allegedly helps in reducing the stuttering. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my Steam Deck running on SteamOS. I own the EA Play version of the game. We'll be showing you how to use Luke FC Spade FSR3 mod in order to enable FSR frame generation in this game. Unfortunately, I was not able to get DLSS enabler mod working in this game, all thanks to EA app. It prevented frame generation from working. DLSS enabler is a free FSR 3.1 frame generation mod. Unlike Luke FC's paid mod, DLSS enabler is completely free. I'll let you know about the fix once I've found it. Even with this new update, Steam Deck struggles to maintain a steady 30 FPS in this game. FPS mostly stays within a range of 20 to 30. It's not an ideal experience. Personally, I would not recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. Only play it on Steam Deck if you don't have any other alternative. I am using Cryo Utility Tools version 2.2.2 using its recommended setting. Main thing here is to set the swap size to 16GB. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4GB. A swap size of 16GB should help in preventing the game from crashing. I will switch to SteamOS Game Mode. I have already shown the process of installing EA app on SteamOS via Steam itself. We will drop the video link in the description. Using G Proton version 9-13 as the compatibility layer. Connected my Cosmic Bytes to Lyle's Gamepad to Steam Deck via Bluetooth port. How's that? EA app opened up. And just click on the hamburger icon here. Then click on settings. Click on application. Scroll down. Until you find this setting. Make sure NEM overlay setting is disabled. Your gamepad should be detected now. Launch the game. Performance tab. Overlay level set to 2. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Its display is capped at 60Hz. I'll just uncap the FPS. Disable frame limit and allow tearing settings enabled. Not using SteamOS FSR. Show you the in game settings now. 800p resolution, full screen mode. Low preset. VSync disabled. FSR 2 enabled using its quality preset. It seems the different presets of FSR2 upscale are not working in this game, may be limited to the EA app version of the game. I tested the game on my ROG Ally and experienced the same issue. Upscaler was working properly when I switched to Luke FC mod. Motion blur film grain, chromatic abrasion settings disabled. That's it. There's Cal. Big open area in front of me. This is Planet Kobo. Okay, here FPS is close to 25. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck. I am observing some ugly ghosting around the character model. Image quality is looking sharp because the scaler is not working at all. I will just switch to FSR's ultra performance preset. If the scaler is working properly, we should be gaining a few frames at the cost of image quality. As the pace resolution will be dropped to a very low value. FSR2 set to ultra performance, except resume the game. No change in performance, FPS is around 25. Still hitting the GP bottleneck, image quality it did not degrade. Ghosting is present around Cal's character model. I don't know if. It's the same issue with the Steam version of this game. FSR upscaler not working. Let's quickly disable it. Preset set to disable. Back to the game. Yeah, no change in performance. FPS is still close to 25. I have set the upscaler's preset to performance. We'll be using the same preset when I switch to Luke FC spot. Back to the game. If the scaler was working properly, FPS would have been around 30. Show you some combat. I already killed the creatures that were present here. Audio is not stuttering. There's the creature. The FPS dropped to around 20 during combat. Not the ideal FPS for enabling frame generation. There will be 
some noticeable graphical artifacts, even some input delay. AMD recommends having a minimum of 60 FPS for frame generation. Forget about that. Here we are struggling to maintain 20 FPS. Oh my god, this feature is angry. Slow down time. <laughs> what was that? WWE move, drop kick. I got it. 17 to 20 FPS. This particular area is very demanding. Next area will get loaded up. Twenty FPS. Yeah, parrot that eh? Oh no, Mr. Hope. <laughs> Respawn at the same point. I'm just spin through here. Performance is still rough on Steam Deck. Good thing the game did not crash. And this is the game running on Planet Kobo, very demanding area. So 17 to 25 FPS. Now I'll show you how to install Luke FC Smart. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 6 US dollars. Download these two files from their Discord server. First extract the contents of fsi 2 fsi 3 underscore common zip file. Open the file. Select all of the files present inside this archive window. Drag and drop them outside of this window like this. Close. The files have been extracted. Now just open fsi 2 fsi 3 underscore 220.zip file. Extract this ASI file, same process. Select these files, winmm.dll, winmm.ini and fsi2, fsi3, asi Copy Open the games install directory I've installed the game on an SD card EA folder Jedi Survivor This is the games install directory Now open SW game folder Open binaries folder Open bin64 folder Paste the files here there is the game's exe file we are not done yet open optional underscore nvngx folder which you extracted copy nvngx.dll file paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files right here go back to the same folder now copy this registry file enable signature override paste it on the desktop right here we need to execute this registry file. I'll be executing it via Proton Tricks. You can download this application for free from Discover Store. If your Steam Deck is running on the beta build of Steam OS, you need to use the beta version of Proton Tricks. I have already shown the process of installing beta version. We'll drop the video link in the description. From Proton Tricks, you need to select EA app, non Steam shortcut. There it is. Then click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. It will take about 6 to 7 seconds. Here you go. Select this option. Select the default bind tricks. Then click on OK. Select this option. Run Regitted. Then click on OK. This window will pop up. Just click on Registry here. Then click on Import Registry File. Navigate to your desktop. Already open in my case. And just open Z Drive. Open Home folder. Open Deck folder. Open Desktop folder. There's a registry file, enable signature override, double click, then click on OK here. We are done. Close the windows. Now we need to generate the mods TUML file. It will be generated automatically when you run the game for the first time with the mod installed. Launch EA app. Before that, you need to add one launch option to the app. Just select EA app in your Steam library, then click on the settings cog here, then click on properties. This is the launch option. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Same compatibility layer G Proto 9-13. Launch. You'll see a black window with some logs indicating that the mod is working. There it is. Upon reaching the menu, exit the game. We are in. Just select quit. 
go back to the games directory where you installed the mod here look for a tuml file there it is fsr2 fsr3 config open it here just set fake nvidia gpu to true this will unlock the dlss setting now you need to set amd unreal engine dlss workaround to true game uses unreal engine stick with the default fsr upscaler xcss upscaler is not recommended in this game causes the display to flicker i tried using luke fc's uniscalar mod in this game preview 10 build that mod gives us access to fsr 3.1 frame generation and even xcss version 1.3 upscaler however i was not able to get it working on steam os not sure why because it worked fine on my raw ally running on windows not a big deal though as FSR 3.1 was producing graphical artifacts in this game, so I switched to FSR 3 even on my ROG ally. EA app may be the culprit here, preventing frame generation from working. Streamer is running in gaming mode. Launch the app. Launch the game. You will see this message. The installed version of the NVIDIA graphics driver has known issues. Just tap on OK. Ignore it. Mod is working. Game settings. 800p resolution. Full screen mode. Low preset. DLSS 3 upscaler setting got unlocked. Just set its preset to performance. Frame generation enabled. There you go. Motion blur, frame grain, chromatic vibration disabled. Load the same area. VRN. It's the same area you can see. Now the FPS is within a range of 50 to 60. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is definitely working. Image quality is looking a bit pixelated. As expected, this is the performance preset of the upscaler, FSR upscaler. Input delay is not a problem. There are some graphical artifacts as you can see. Flickering going on around the lightsaber. Aggressive artifacts as the base FPS is on the lower side, like 25 to 30. See? Game side elements are not flickering. And just switch to upscaler's quality preset. Upscaler set to quality. Yeah, FPS dropped down to around 50. Image quality is looking much sharper now. Entirely up to you which preset you want to use. Just use the balance preset now. Good to see. Upscaler working again, all thanks to the mod. 50 to 57 FPS. Let's play the game. Game is very demanding on the GPU. See, almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. to 54 fps head to the next area fight against that big thing subtitles are not flickering frame generation gets disabled during the cutscenes keep an eye on the fps count here and just take out the minions first 40 fps oh my god guy jumped on me full WWE style massive stutter fps dropped to 28 suddenly increased to 40 this can happen the massive stutter lasted for a second Didn't occur again. FPS mostly stayed within the range of 40 to 45 during combat. I'll just jump on that tin can. Oh no, missed. So, not the ideal. Experience, but you can play the game on Steam Deck 
only play it on deck if you don't have any other alternative. Game still stutters. I'm just print here. Yeah, FA suddenly dropped down to 34. Back up to 40. Drop down to 35 again. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.